लाइफ हैज सो मच टू ऑफर सो मच टू एक्सप्लोर तो हम रुके क्यों नमस्ते आई एम शुभी माथुर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू येट अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ जीना एसी का नाम है सीरीज ऑफ लेटेस्ट टॉक एज इज जस्ट अ नंबर एंड इट शुड नॉट स्टॉप अस फ्रॉम डूइंग अ समथिंग विच वी ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू डू नेवर स्टॉप लर्निंग नेवर स्टॉप रीइनवेंटिंग योर सेल्फ क्योंकि जीना इसी का नाम है लेट अस हेयर फ्रॉम आर टूडे स्पीकर अबाउट हर जर्नी ऑफ रीडिस्कवरिंग हर सेल्फ एट द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी सो टूडे वी हैव विद अस मिसेज मिताली सेन हु हैज लर्न भरतनाट्यम कथक कली उदीसी एंड रविंद्र नृत्य She was a teacher by profession and English teacher in one of the most prestigious school of Bombay Utpal Sangvi School. Welcome Mitali ji. Welcome on Let Us Talk. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So let me first share with our viewers that what tempted me to have you here. I got a forward message on my WhatsApp sometime back. about you taking dance classes rather starting dance classes at the age of 70 and i was like wow this is really her passion and she has really proved that age is just a number and during our conversations i realized your love for the dance form so many dance forms you had learned and in this series jina isi ka naam hai we wanted to share with our viewers that never stop yourself from doing something which you always wanted to do always follow your passion so here you are with us so mitali ji you were born in kolkata a city full of rich art and culture and you learned so many dance forms so weren't you ever persuaded or tempted to follow dance as a profession It was my uh, primary years of learning dancing were between uh, 65 and let's say 73 uh, 73 74 now in those days the parents wanted their uh, daughters to learn dancing but not as a career so dancing happened side by side it was kind of like a hobby uh, but what happened was when they realized that i was very really talented my uh, teachers in school and uh, even outside they started uh, commenting on uh, my uh, grace and uh, ability to dance and capacity to learn uh, they definitely told my uh, parents that you should encourage her to uh, continue uh, with this uh, passion of hers Then what happened was in 1970 I uh, joined uh, Vishwabharati University Shantiniketan and uh, to again pursue studies I was doing my English honors there however uh, Vishwabharati was is a place where you can uh, simultaneously learn a lot of things so once I joined the university I Uh, side by side my studies i was also learning kathakali dance i was learning rabindra nritya i was learning a little bit of manipuri also and it sort of opened up a huge vista of uh, you know possibilities you know there were students who had come from various countries and i had friends from thailand from cambodia from malaysia and there was a wonderful exchange of uh, you know culture and uh, uh, the dance forms which i picked up uh, from many of them and the shanti niketan let me just tell you a little bit it's a, a place where a lot of uh, dance programs keep on happening uh, and they are all seasonal they are all you know uh, somehow associated with seasons so during uh, the uh, spring season we have the dol utsav that's the vasant utsav then during the the rainy season we had borsha mongol and uh, prikharopon wonderful uh, times uh, i spent over there and as i grew as i evolved i would say i picked up 
different different kinds of uh, dance uh, styles and different nuances and that has stayed with me so when i got married in 1976 i thought maybe my dance career would not career my dancing days were over i would now have to concentrate on uh, my uh, duties at home a new chap But my Right. were very encouraging they were very encouraging my mother in law herself was from shanti niketan so she never told me that you have to give up dancing so i continued for a while but then we had to move to mumbai and once i moved to mumbai there was obviously a little bit of a, a stage when there was a little vacuum created because i was not doing anything i was just setting up home at that time then my children were born so there was a bit of a gap after my son was about 2 years old that is when i uh, uh i was told by a friend of mine there were odissi classes happening in uh iskon uh, juhu yeah. and i quickly joined those classes so was it easy to switch dance forms you have learned so many dance forms i don't think i personally know someone who knows bharatnatyam also kathakali kathakali to honestly i don't know anyone who knows kathakali odissi rabindra nritya and uh, so how did you manage this was it an easy switch uh, so you know this is because of my grounding in uh, dance in shanti niketan uh, tagore actually wanted uh, the dancers the, those learning dance there to learn two three different styles so you switch cities and uh, here also you continued your love and passion for dance you started learning a new dance form and uh, parallelly you started teaching english literature also in a school so then that time also you get an idea that might as well i am a teacher why teach english literature why not conduct workshops or uh, some you know dance related camps or programs for children itself for various dance form so that time also weren't you motivated to try on dance as a profession uh, to that i would say should be that my uh, job as a teacher was extremely um, demanding and uh, time consuming and still you got the time to learn a new dance form that means it was really your passion that. yeah <laughs> i was learning that no doubt but i had to give uh, priority to my job also two days i think we used to have dance practice in a week i would absolutely not miss those days i would always attend but after i got back home then my uh, domestic uh, you know all my uh, duties my commitment my think commitments all that took over then what happened was this was going on and um, finally i realized that i won't be able to handle everything my children were also growing up those days and they were uh, going to appear for their board exams and i had to give them time also in 2008 uh, i i was not yet uh, due for retirement but i had to leave the job because my father was very ill and once i left the job um i to in 2008 2009 i had to give to my father's health and all that then unfortunately he passed away in 2009 What happened was uh, around 2012 i joined a uh, uh, an institution all street jan and before that also i was associated with another institution called shahana both were teaching rabindra sangeet and over there in srijan i started uh, choreographing dance for their programs that's how i got back to dancing yeah sometimes uh, universe also makes carves way for you and this just happens sometimes opportunities just come and जीना इसी का नाम है कि कभी कभी कुछ भी दस्तक हो जाती है दरवाजे पे सो व्हेन व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड कोरियोग्राफी अगेन अ न्यू एवेन्यू ओपन अप इट वाज आल्सो साइमल्टेनियसली आई वाज डूइंग कॉस्ट्यूम डिजाइनिंग फॉर द शोस सो दैट वाज अगेन अ वेरी वेरी न्यू यू नो 
innovation i would say innovative ma- manner in which i incorporated dance and uh, costume designing and um, again a beautiful experience for me and um, so this happened for uh, quite some time from i think uh, till till i would say 2017 18 uh, i was doing choreography and then uh, uh, i got an offer to start teaching at rabindra nitya so again under the aegis of uh, sri john i started teaching dance and i had a group of students who were very very uh, uh, what should i say they, they loved him yeah the way i taught them and they were very very uh, encouraging also because imagine i was already in my 60s then and i was uh, beginning to teach on the word again so therefore uh, you know and that went on till covid happened and that was a huge setback for me Uh-huh. because i'm sorry to say i was not the kind of person to do online dancing so i stopped teaching and uh, so then how did you resume dancing back again and suddenly now you know the forward the buzz is there that uh, rabindran ditya which is not so popular here is being taught by a 70 year old lady so how was this how were these classes revived again in the during this period my health took a I mean I won't say it was very bad but uh, it was good I had covid also in 2021 so uh, after um, uh, 2022 uh, I would say um, very in very very little way I started uh, dancing in small uh, way in uh, programs this year in 2023 my students and my daughter in law they started encouraging me to start classes i said what are, how, how can i start now this you know the whole idea of starting again and you know finding a place finding students you know advertising all those things were big uh, you know issue with me so my daughter in law said don't worry i will make everything do everything for you she made posters for me she sent them across to everyone and then she uh, arranged for the dance class the venue mm-hmm. and i spoke to him. and there was a student of mine who was also very 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 uh, motivating and said that push sometimes you one needs that motivation and push to get out of that comfort zone so kehte na jina isi ka naam hai be open be receptive to the opportunities around you बाकी करना ना करना तो हमेशा हमारे ही हाथ में है बट वी शुड ऑलवेज बी ओपन टू इट एंड आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू शेयर विद आर व्यूअर्स दैट दिस ईयर मिताली जी हैड अ नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरी इट इज अ बिग सर्जरी जिसका नाम सुन के काफी लोग तो डर और घबरा जाते हैं एंड यूजली पोस्ट सर्जरी ऑल्सो पीपल बिकम वेरी स्केर वेरी रिलेक्टेंट डांस ना बाबा अब तो कुछ नहीं वी आर टेकिंग इट वेरी स्लोली अब हम वी विल नॉट रिस्क इट आउट बट मिताली जी इज लव फॉर डांस हर पैशन कंटिन्यूज इट अगेन हाईलाइट द स्पिरिट जीना इसी का नाम है सो आई वुड लाइक टू नो फ्रॉम यू मिताली जी वॉन्ट यू स्केर ऑफ दिस सर्जरी एंड यू आर स्टिल टीचिंग डांस इन फैक्ट यू हैव अ क्लास आफ्टर दिस शूट ऑल्सो so what keeps you going or how did you still continue this how did you still continue to teach dance despite of this major surgery yes it's it's actually a uh, i would say a turning point in my life in a way so i you know my first thought was oh my god a uh, knee surgery and uh, will i become uh, you know housebound will i have to st- uh, stay put on uh, in the room not go out anywhere and so on anyways uh, after a lot of uh, you know, cogitation thoughts and uh, uh, research also in uh, trying to find out a good doctor uh, i first thing i told him was i am a dancer so he said yes i i can understand your uh, uh, problems and that's what happened in the month of april i underwent the surgery 
and now it's been six months and uh, after my physiotherapy everything that I had done I'm able to uh, do a lot of uh, exercises I can uh, of course there are restrictions certain things I can never do but a little bit you know within that uh, the boundaries and the restrictions I'm able to manage well and uh, dancing is uh, something you know it's I love it so much that when I dance truly speaking I forget my knee surgery truly speaking I it doesn't bother me and that is how it's been happening so kudos to your spirit Mitali ji Jeena Isi ka naam hai ki we should not be scared we should be cautious and on this note any message do you have for our viewers yeah actually from my uh, point of view uh, um, as you said right in the beginning that age is just a number whether I'm 70 or 72 or 75 if my body allows if my mind allows and actually it is my mind yes which will dictate to my body yeah. so if my mind allows then I shall continue doing what gives me the most pleasure and I would say the same to everybody. Uh, please can do what you want to do. Don't stop. So, Kehtena, Jina isi ka naam hai. Rukhna nahi hai, thamna nahi hai. Kuch kuch explore karte jana hai. Thank you so much, Mitali ji, for sharing your journey with us and motivating others to never be scared, never give up and keep exploring at no matter what. Age is just a number. Or... Gina Isika Nam hai. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.